Medical coverage for you now at 10 tonight. When a patient arrives at a hospital with a stroke or a heart attack, we all know that every second is crucial. And that's why three rural Mercy Hospital locations near Springfield received a grant to vamp up its telemedicine equipment. Keller 10's Francis Lynn visited one of those locations. Tell us, Francis, why do the rural areas in particular need that telemedicine? Well, because those areas usually don't have a lot of doctors, so with this technology, instead of transferring patients to Springfield, they can save valuable time by just calling a specialist in St. Louis. The telemedicine that we have currently is used for telestroke. Dr. Jeffrey Deal and ER manager Martha Youngblood at Mercy Hospital Aurora says the grant will add more functions than diagnosing a stroke. Cardiology, I mean there's ortho, there's so many capabilities that we could have with telemedicine that we don't have now. The ability for them to actually listen to the patient. And wound care, you know we get patients that come in with a burn which we just had today. Um, it would be really nice to be able to um, telemedicine in with the um, burn doctors, the trauma doctors, so they can see exactly what the burn looks like, exactly how bad they're burnt versus just taking our word for it. Adding more equipment functions can save patients precious time in other emergency situations, and telestroke is an example of that. If a patient comes in with an emergency, all they have to do is press this button, and a specialist from St. Louis will tell them exactly what to do. Hi, Susie. It's Martha and Aurora. The longer that we wait, um, the more muscle dies. So the longer that we wait, the more brain dies, the more heart dies. So if we can treat them quickly with a, appropriate medications, then they have a much um, better quality of life. The medicine that we have to use when somebody has an acute stroke can be extremely dangerous. And so there are life-threatening complications that can occur. The almost $500,000 grant is awarded to nine Mercy hospitals in four states, all in rural areas. We have limited supply of doctors. A lot of our patients come here and versus going to Springfield when they probably should go to Springfield because they cannot afford to get there. They either don't have a car, they don't have the gas money, they don't have the resources, so we are their only stop. Small community hospitals need to exist. We spend a lot of time and money spend it, sending people away when we could keep them right here if we have that technology. When I was at the hospital earlier today, the ER manager gave a full demonstration of how their telestroke machine works. There's a minute and a half of that demonstration, including information from the St. Louis specialist on our website, along with the full list of all nine communities that received the grant. Just click on the story on Ozarksfirst.com.